Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Father and mother. Friends, we're gathered here to witness and to celebrate the coming together of two lives. We've come to join this man and this woman in marriage, to be with them and to rejoice with them in the making of this important commitment. The essence of these vows is the taking of another person in their entirety as lover, companion, and friend. It's a commitment that carries with it a lifetime of responsibility. Josh and Alyssa, today is one of the most important days of your lives and you stand before this group of loving friends and family who are here to participate in and to celebrate your wedding. Do each of you freely and openly enter into this union without any reservation or reluctance, and do each of you appreciate and acknowledge the importance of the vows, vows you make here today? If so, answer, I do. Josh? I do. And Alyssa? I do. <laughs> Josh, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife Will you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and support her in sickness and health, being faithful to her for as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I do. I do. Melissa, do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? Will you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and support him in sickness and health, being faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I do. I do. And I'm going to have a reading by Alyssa's Uncle Mal, 1 Corinthians 13. First Corinthians 13. Love is always patient and kind. Love is never jealous. Love is not boastful. It's never rude and never seeks its own advantage. It does not take offense or store freedom. Love does not reflect the wrongdoing that finds its joy in the truth. It's always ready to make allowances, to trust and to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love never seeks to enter. But if there are prophecies, they will be done away with. With tongues, they will fall silent. And if knowledge will be done away with. For we know only imperfectly and prophesy imperfectly. But once perfection comes, all imperfect things will be done away with. And I hope Sally used to talk like a child and do things as a child and think like a child. But now that I've become an adult, I have finished with all the child. Now we see only reflections in the mirror mere riddles, but then we shall be seen face to face. And I know only imperfectly that then I shall know just as fully as I myself know. As it is, these remain, faith, hope, and love. The three of them, and the greatest of them, is love. You may now place the ring on her finger. And repeat after me with this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And pledge to you. And pledge to you. My faith. My faith. Yes. You may now place the ring on me. Repeat after me with this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And pledge to you. And pledge to you. My faithfulness. My faithfulness. The ring has neither a beginning nor an end. May it be a reminder of the vows you've taken here today and keep you steadfast in them. A joy in times of happiness and a comfort in times of trouble. Josh and Alyssa, today you're making a lifetime commitment to share the rest of your lives together. Your relation is symbolized through the pouring of these individual glass vases of sand, each representing all that you were, all that you are, and all that you ever will be. 
first i will pour in what's called the foundation sand that's actually sand from here at the at taha beach at here at picnic point and it symbolizes the foundation of the relationship and to give you a momentum the momento directly related to this beach. Josh and Alyssa will now mix in sand from the, the sand where they met 21 years ago at Cross Lake, Minnesota. As each of you hold your sand, the separate vases will represent your lives to this moment, individual and unique. And now you combine your sand together and your lives are also joined together as one. You may now blend the sand, representing the uniting of the bride and groom. may be moved around, the colors may shift and blend in new ways, but they cannot be separated. They will remain joined as a harmonious, harmonious whole. May your love be as eternal and as inseparable as the same. Having made satisfactory answers for all the questions you put to you, having shown your willingness to become husband and wife, and having solemnly promised to love, honor, comfort, and support each other for as long as you both shall live, now therefore, by the power vested in me by the Constitution and laws of the state of Illinois, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss each other. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Josh and Alyssa.